Hi, my name is Anand, and I'm a product manager on the Hotmail team. Like many people, I use email to work with and share Microsoft Office documents with others. In this release, Hotmail lets me access the free Microsoft Office web apps, making it even easier to view, edit, and share Office documents in the inbox. Let me show you how. Say I'm at work and I'm putting together a presentation for a nonprofit board meeting that I'll be presenting to you later that night. I don't want to take my work computer home with me just to make the presentation, so I do what I normally do. I email the file to myself so I can access it later. Since I'm using Hotmail, I don't have to worry about attachment limits because unlike other services, Hotmail lets me send big attachments, up to 200 files of 50 megabytes each or 10 gigabytes of attachments in a single message. Now later that night, I arrive at my meeting. The only problem is I was late and didn't stop by home to get my laptop. I know other people will have their computers, but they may not have PowerPoint installed or at least the version that I need. Well, because I emailed the presentation from my Hotmail address, all I need is a browser and the internet, and I'll be ready to go. My audience will get to see it in high fidelity with transitions and animations. Nothing gets lost in translation because I'm presenting right from Hotmail. But what if I needed to tweak my presentation before I delivered it? No problem. All I have to do is click Edit Online from Hotmail, and my presentation opens up in the free Microsoft Office web apps. They look and behave just like Office, so they're familiar and easy to use, and I can trust them not to mess up my formatting. When I'm done making my edits, my changes are saved online automatically to my SkyDrive, and I can do all of this on a PC or a Mac, no matter what software is installed. But what if I wanted to use the full power of Office, maybe to add a video to my presentation or insert a 3D graph? Because the Office web apps were designed to work with Office on my PC, I can just click Open in PowerPoint and the file will open in Office on my PC. All of my formatting is retained and I can pick up right where I left off. After I'm done with my edits, I can click Close and PowerPoint saves my changes back to SkyDrive without me doing anything. No confusing versions to manage, no uploading or downloading, no conversions that might mess up my file. So I delivered my presentation and went well, but now I want to make sure my audience remembers just how great it was. Because I'm using Hotmail, it's easy for me to share my presentation with them over email, no matter what attachment limits they have or what version of PowerPoint they have. When I click Send, Hotmail automatically uploads my presentation to my SkyDrive and sends my recipients a special link to view or download the presentation. Here we see the email message my recipients will get. With just a click, they can view my presentation in high fidelity using the Office web apps. I'm not clogging their inboxes or wasting their time downloading files. It's as easy for them to view my presentation as it is for them to view a web page. And all I had to do was send my attachment using Hotmail, just like I would normally. What could be easier? Great, so let's go back to my inbox and see what else I have to take care of. I'll just filter from my flagged items. You can see I've received a letter from my cousin who's applying for a few jobs. She's asked me to review her resume and make some edits. Normally, I'd have to save this Word document to my computer, find it on my desktop, open it, resave it, and reattach it. A lot of steps and times, extra versions that add to confusion, not to mention I need Microsoft Word installed on my PC. Because I'm using Hotmail, it's no problem because I can not only view the document online, but I can, I can also edit in my browser just by clicking Edit. You can see the file gets copied to SkyDrive, and I can now edit it in the Word web app. The great thing is it looks and feels just like Microsoft Word, and it should retain the formatting that my cousin has spent a lot of time on, even when I make edits. Great, so that was easy. Now that I'm done, I click the close button, and Hotmail remembers exactly what I was doing before. It takes me right back to the email message. All I have to do is type a quick note and click send. My cousin will receive the updated document. That was much simpler than the typical way of editing attachments and replying. Great, so I can clear another flag from my list. On to the next task. Here's a message from my brother in New York about my dad's 60th birthday. Looks like he's attached a planning spreadsheet that he wants me to help fill out. This looks like it'll probably require a lot of back and forth conversations and editing. Thankfully, my brother's online right now. I'll send him an IM to see if he wants to work on this together. Perfect, he's ready to work on it. Because the spreadsheet's already on SkyDrive, all I have to do is click View Online from Hotmail. I can also go ahead and click Edit because I know we'll be making some changes. I can see here in the lower right hand corner that my brother's also editing the file. Plus, I can see that he's actually making changes, and I'm able to see them instantly. I can make changes, too, and work with him in real time. And we can stay coordinated by using Messenger. 
we're working just about as efficiently as if we were in the same room, even though we're actually thousands of miles apart. So now you've seen a few of the ways we're making it easier to view, edit, and share Office documents right from the inbox. You can view and make edits online while keeping documents looking great. You can move easily between the web and Office on your PC based on your needs. And you can share large Office documents with anyone. And the best part is there's nothing new to learn. All you have to do is sign into Hotmail and send or receive an Office document.